If I could jump on that, you're talking about Spencer Cornelia and Todd Baldwin. One of the things that I see a lot of people who would respond to this, they would say, well, they had an unfair advantage. They were better off than me. They started, they got parents who help them. I want to tell my story. I don't know if I've even ever told you this. So I'm the oldest of six kids. I grew up as poor as humanly possible in America. Section eight housing, free lunches, dirt poor. My mom had a job that I can't even say on YouTube because it would get demonetized, but six kids from three different dads. So use your imagination. Um, Extremely poor. We were evicted all the time. We had to move all the time, but I grew up hating being poor. I never got to play, go to soccer camp. You know what I did? I juggled a ball in my backyard until I got good because I couldn't afford to do anything else. I disliked being poor so much that at the age of eight, I made my first budget. At the age of 10, I was pushing lawnmowers around to make money, mowing other people's yards, $5 a yard. Now, even for 1998, this was still undercharging and I probably should have done a little more price discovery, but whatever. At the end of the day, as I got older, I did not want to be poor. I, like you, worked three jobs at one point for years on end. I've done 60, 70, 80 hour weeks to save the money to be able to get my down payment. And as you said, on a house hack, I didn't buy that nice house. I didn't, I still own a 1992 Geo Metro. I get zero ladies. I own a 1999 Ford pickup truck. It's got a busted in front bumper that I haven't repaired. Zero ladies. That's that's just how it is. But if you are not willing to make the sacrifices, if you don't want it enough, then just say that. Because what you're doing is complaining. Yes, it's harder. It's different than what your parents did. You need to reframe the idea of the pathway to success in your own mind away from, yeah, 18 to 22, I go to college, get a degree, I get a good job with a pension, and that's it. No, you probably need to move jobs over and over and over again to get raises. You need to save a bunch of money, not buy nice cars. Then instead of buying that house for yourself, you buy a house with the intention of putting roommates in it, or you buy a duplex like I did, have someone next door and then get roommates. Then you save and save and save and you buy new rentals. The American dream or the pathway to the American dream has changed. So stop holding on to what used to be grow up. And, and, and be brave enough to try something new. That's the history of our country. People got on wooden ships that were tiny, sailed across crazy waves through the storms, lost half the population of the ship. Children died just to land in this country where they didn't know anybody. You didn't even know how to get food. And you're telling me you can't figure out how to work two jobs, make a little bit of extra money and save? It's embarrassing. You're an American. Figure it out.